I saw you had posted the video on IG with you and Tua, you know, singing. I wanted to know how it is to, to have another Hawaiian brother on the team and kind of how you guys have uh, developed that relationship. I, I mean, I love it, man. I can't even lie to you. It's, it's awesome. You know, um, for, for a long time, I've been the only guy um, being from home, being so far, far away from home. So having someone, you know, here with me that, that kind of grew up the same way as me, it's awesome, you know, and um, we get to talk and joke a lot about how we grew up and, you know, it's even funnier because uh, our high school, even though he's a lot younger than me, but um, our high schools are rival high schools. So, you know, we get to joke about that a little bit. Um, it, it's, it's awesome. I love it. Let's go to Travis. Hey, Kamu, how's it going, man? Good, man. How you doing? Good, good. So that was my question, too, about the, the video with you and Tua. I won't comment on your guys' vocal talents, but <laughs> I, am, I am a little bit curious that you guys are getting along so well. Is that kind of the same vibe you have in the locker room in general? And if so, why do you think this team's personalities are meshing so well so early? Yeah, um, definitely. I think, you know, this, this locker room is a young team. Um, everyone's hungry. Everyone's um, coming in, you know, and, and wanting to work. And, you know, I think it, it, it's – it's easy when everyone's so young and around the same age and, and stuff like that for, for the team to kind of have a lot in common. And um, it's just a real friendly, family-oriented locker room. So it's good. Joe Shad. Nice to meet you, Kamu. Um, I've been to Hawaii many times, and obviously I've lived down here in South Florida uh, for a while now. I'm, I'm wondering uh, what parts are you might be finding similar or a sense of home for you. Yeah, it's, uh, um, it's well. So obviously, I was in Philly for the last four years, which is nothing like back home. So being here is is definitely a um, you know uh, very similar. And you know, I, I was even in um, you know driving around, and, and I'm just like, dang, that kind of looks a little bit like how back home looks. You know, in certain certain areas. Um, and I just you know I just love the tropical weather, warm weather. It's hard to beat. So um, it's not home, but I mean, it's pretty close. Omar? Uh, I wanted to ask you about the intricacies of this defense. Obviously, this is your first time in Brian Flores' scheme. How similar or unsimilar is it to the stuff that you do, were doing in Philadelphia and the biggest challenges? Uh, I think it's, it's very different, but I, I love it. And, and it's a big reason why I'm even here. Um, you know, there's so many different things that we can do with, with this defense. And it, and, it, and it, you know, it really – keeps everyone very diverse and, and asks everyone to do multiple things. So, um, I mean, that's, that's exciting for me and, and I'm, uh, it's, it's very different, but I'm, I'm getting used to it and I'm loving it. Let's go to Hal. Hi, I'm wondering if you still have most or all of your family in Hawaii and if so, how difficult must it be for them to watch you play in person? Yeah. Um, every, so I'm actually the only person in my family that ever left Hawaii. Um, and truthfully, I never even left Hawaii until, um, I went to college. And, um, so that was a big step for me, but ever since I've, I've left, you know, I've only, you know, I, either I'm in season and, or we're in off season training, but the second I, I get a chance, you know, I'm usually back home. Um, this, this last year I had, you know, to get, to, uh, do some rehab and stuff. So I wasn't able to get home. And obviously with this like COVID stuff, it's been difficult, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I love when my family comes out and when they do because it's so far, they, they usually stay for like two or three weeks, which is which is a nice change of pace. But um, it, it's nice, man. It's been hard. It's definitely been hard this year. So the, uh, so the Dolphins have a couple of corners at safety. And you're a guy who I know earlier in your career played safety, and now you're a linebacker. Is that kind of an indication of where the league is going with what are you sensing in terms of, you know, the emphasis on pass coverage skills? Well, I mean, I, I don't, you know, I, I can't really speak for anyone else in the league, but I just, just from my view of things is, you know, you go into a game, teams, teams are passing the ball almost 40, 50 times a game, you know, and it's, um, I, I think there's a huge emphasis on, on pass and, um, you know, passing down. So, um, I wouldn't say that it's more important, but I think guys are being asked to do more than, you know, if you're not seeing your typical just, you know, 260 pound backers any, any, any more that are on the field for all three downs. So, um, 